Welcome back to the 9th Gym Program, and today we are continuing the DLC 2 Crown Tundra Guides with Heatran. This Pokemon has been one of my favorite of the, like, legendaries that are in, uh, you know, not restricted uh, for a while now. This Pokemon is just really good. It's super bulky, it does a lot of damage, it's, it has good typing, uh, and it just has a lot of things going for it, uh, except a neck. It doesn't have that. Anyway, uh, so Heatran, Fire Steel typing is good. You know, nine resistances, one immunity is very solid. Two regular weaknesses and one quad weakness to ground. Essentially, uh, avoid ground, and this Pokemon's pretty good. With really solid natural bulk uh, at defense 106 and special defense at 106 as well. And then HP at 91. This Pokemon can live a lot of attacks. Um, you know, even multiple super effective attacks, especially if it's Dynamaxed. So, you know, Heatran is a very solid Dynamax Pokemon. Um, and a great Pokemon just on the floor as well. Just not... Um, you know, Dynamaxed, obviously. Uh, Fire Steel is pretty cool typing, especially offensively as well. You know, Steel is really good right now with all those Tapus going around. Um, it's just a good typing in general, um, in my opinion. It's good. Uh, the ability Flash Fire is actually very solid as well, giving a fire immunity, especially switching in on those Max Flares. Something like Kartana or Rillaboom would really like a Pokemon like this. You'd be able to absorb those powerful Max Flares that would just knock them out. Um, waste a Dynamax turn, and then get a 1.5 times damage booster on its heat, its own Heat Waves. So, you know, Heat Ren has a lot of uh, versatility with Flash Fire. Having additional immunities is always broken. Like, it, it just makes it so that you can use very use this Pokemon very defensively uh, for switching, which is good. Speaking of switching this Pokemon defensively, look at all those resistances and the bulk. It's a great switch. Uh, it's a great pivoter in to, you know, super effective damaging moves to your other Pokemon that this just resists. Pretty good stuff. Um, anyway, let's look at these stats real quick. So, HP 91, defense and special defense at 106, very naturally bulky, um, with investment or Dynamaxed or both. This Pokemon can live a lot of attacks. It can even live a ground-type attack most of the time with things like Shookaberry or especially Air Balloon. Um, pretty good stuff. Also, you have Rillaboom to half the damage of Earthquakes, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, that's a little, you know, a little you know, a little, I don't know what the word is, a little inconsistent, because they can just max, um, or like, high horsepower or some, something, uh, but yeah, uh, special attack at 130 is actually very song, uh, solid, song, I said song, I meant solid and strong together, and it came out song, um, anyway, 130 base special attack is very solid, um, you know, a lot of damage that this thing can do. You do investment in Modest Nature. It's doing so much damage. You could even use Life Orb or even Choice Specs. Crazy damage. 77 speed is pretty okay. You know, mid-speed, you can use this Pokemon in Trick Room. You can use it without. Um, you know, it works either way and loves to be in the game either way, especially with Tailwind as well. So it's very versatile, and a lot of teams can just use this Pokemon. Anyway... We're very far into the video, and I'm still on overview, so let's move on. So, I have two builds today, but the, it's really just one. Um, you know, it's... The only difference is uh, Quiet Nature and Zero Speed, so it's just Min Speed. Um, so, the second one's Trick Room. I was trying to make a different spread other than just 252 for 252, um, but every time I did it, it kind of just felt like it was pretty unnecessary. Um, so, I just wanted to go into HP and Special Attack. I think it's fine. Um, you know, definitely you can experiment with the spread, but this works well for now, so I like it. Um, anyway, let's get into it. So, Heatran, Shuka Berry. Uh, I definitely like Shuka Berry over Air Balloon or really any items. Uh, I just think it's really, really powerful. Um, you could definitely go Air Balloon, you know, giving it the immunity to ground instead, but the second you're hit with, like, a Dazzling Gleam or a Rock Slide or literally any attack ever, um, that's not poison typing... It'll hit the, the heat ran and then break the air balloon. And then now you're susceptible to these super strong max quakes and stuff like that. So I just went for Shookaberry. It's more consistent in my opinion. Uh, so that's what I went for. Uh, flash Fire. It's the only ability you're going to use. Don't use Flame Body. Flash Fire is good. We talked about it earlier. Uh, Modest Nature. 252 HP and 252 Special Attack. The last four into defense. Um, like I said, you know, it just felt like unnecessary changing it around. I liked 252 HP. I think it's fine. It's what I've been using. I think it works fine. Um, I did make a spread earlier this meta, but it kind of just feels like not needed. So I'm just going with this. Um, yeah, feel free to change it though. Uh, 100%. Anyway, for the four attacks that I went with, I went Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Dual Stab, uh, and then Earth Power and Protect. So, Dual Stab, Protect, and one move of choice, which I gave Earth Power um, because it's its best, in my opinion. 
uh, best coverage move that it has. It has a couple of cool moves like Solar Beam or Scorching Sands, or even, you know, you, know, you like utility moves like Burning Jealousy or Substitute or Taunt. Um, so, you know, you have a lot of flex moves that you can use instead, but I think Earth Power just works really well. Now, depending on the team, of course, you might not need Earth Power, so swap in something else that's cool. Um, Overheat is another random option, but it is an option. Uh, you know, it does a lot of damage, a lot of damage, but then your guy's pretty useless, so whatever. Um, anyway, as far as items go, you know, Shookaberry is what I went with, Air Balloon we talked about, be it's okay. Um, and then we have two other Pokemon, Pokemon, two other items there that I listed, uh, Life Orb, or choice specs both are good in my opinion you know you do a lot of damage with them life orb if you think you're going to consistently max this pokemon or if you don't think you're gonna and you just want more damage but then you could go choice specs as well um but then you're kind of locked from using protect frequently so yeah i i don't know all these items are good but i really like shukaberry i've i've found the most success with shukaberry did you hear my voice cut out there it was bad um anyway that is about it for the coverage what does what the word coverage sit doing there? Huh? I didn't mean to say coverage there. Anyway, that's it for the builds. Let's talk about these two synergetic Pokemon down here in the bottom right corner. So, I started off with Lando. Um, Intimidate is always good, you know, being able to make your bulky Pokemon bulkier in comparison to their attack stat um, is always good. Intimidate is good. And then you also have, uh, you know, the flying so that, uh, you know, your opponent's like, Max Quake, your heat ran. Haha, <laughs> I killed it. Psych! Uh, you switch into Lando T, and then it's flying, so you waste their max move. Um, or even if they just Earthquake or Stomping Tantrum or High high Horsepower, or whatever you want, uh, or whatever they want, I guess. Um, you switch into Flyer, and then it's immune, and you're in a better position. It's looking good. So, Flying-type Pokemon is good for that. Um, and then, other than that, we have Rillaboom as well. I think Rillaboom is just really powerful in this um, scenario. You know, you have something that covers your water and ground weaknesses. Um... You know, it's fine against fighting, like, whatever. And it also is just a very useful Pokemon. It gives you the terrain, which can be a Leftovers, which a lot of Heat Rans run uh, Leftovers. Our single spotlight build is for Leftovers. So, um, yeah, you have that, you know, general uh, healing, which is good. My uh, voice is going away. It's really bad. Um, so, yeah, that's a cool thing. And then you also have the terrain that has uh, Earthquake, which obviously helps heat ran <laughs> obviously anyway that is about it there let's go ahead and move on to speed tiers real quick so uh speed tiers nothing too crazy you know 97 um as a natural speed that it gets to it's not bad it's not great you have to speed a couple of good pokemon things like cresselia uh at min speed celesteela tyranitar min speed heat ran um you know all the trick room boys that are down there way down there little nerds you know what i'm saying um, so yeah, 97, uh, Heat Ran is pretty good. Outsped by some stuff, though. Togekiss at 100, and DDF, Rillaboom, Tapofini, Cresselia, Zapdos, Galar. So many Pokemon at that 105. Why did I add Zapdos, Galar? That's not right. I don't know why I added Zapdos, Galar. I guess Sock? There's another Pokemon. Oh, Suicune. That was the Pokemon I wanted to add. Suicune is also on that speed tier of 105. That's a busy speed tier. There's a lot of good... I'll plug you in later, laptop. Chill. Um, I don't know if you guys heard that. You probably didn't even hear... You probably couldn't even hear that. Anyway, um, my 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 laptop made a sound. That's why I said that. Anyway, so yeah, 105 is a very uh, busy speed tier. And then, uh, you know, Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat at min speed or at normal speed neutral um are outspeeding heat ran as well and then heat ran up here at 141 he's fast but not that fast uh you can invest speed into it to outspeed these other couple of pokemon that i said but you're still going to get outsped by all those fast great pokemon in that 150 to 200 range there's so many in that range so that's why i didn't go for speed i'd rather go for bulk but you have multiple ways of play and uh you know do what you want not here to tell you how to live your life i'm here to tell you this is this is a way to live your life you don't have to use it. Anyway, that is about it for speed tiers. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, so here we have... Move on. Move on. Move on. Uh, somebody somebody brought that up one time that they like pinpointed where I lived because of how I said on. And it was crazy. There's multiple ways to say on. Anyway, uh, I've gone on like so many tangents this video. Anyway, um, so Dynamax, Metagross, Max Quake into 252 HP 
four defense Shukaberry Dynamaxed Heat Ran. Essentially, the Shukaberry knocks out that plus two from the weakness policy, having its doubled attack, making it essentially neutral again. Um, but still, max attack, weakness policy, Metagross, max Quake, and a Dynamaxed Heat Ran hit 72 to 85 percent, which is guaranteed two hit KO. Awesome stuff. Love to see it. We live that attack, which is great. Now, the only unfortunate thing is the Max Flare coming back from our Heat Ran into their Metagross at 4 HP, which it might not even have, um, is only 86 to 101, which only leaves us a 12.5% chance to Oko, which is not very uh, reliable. But with HH, which is Helping Hand, if you don't know what HH means, Helping Hand gives it 128% to 151, which is guaranteed Oko. Very good calc to have. Next, we have Lando T Earthquake into our 4 defense 252 HP Shuka Berry Heatran, uh, hitting 72 to 85, which is the same calc as the Max Quake from Metagross into that. Um, but this time, we are not Dynamaxed. This is regular Heatran. Guaranteed to hit KO from one of the most used Pokemon. Awesome stuff. Uh, next, we have Heatran Max Flare into a Assault Vest. I said A, not An. Uh, into an Assault Vest Rillaboom with 252 HP and 4 Special Defense, hitting 105 to 124, guaranteed Oko against that dumb monkey, awesome stuff, that is a good calc to have. Next we have Heat Ran Earth Power into a different Heat Ran, uh, 252 HP, hitting 109 to 129 with guaranteed Oko, great stuff for the mirror match. Next we have Heat Ran Heat Wave into Assault Vest Dynamax Cartana with the, you know, pretty used spread. 60 HP, 252 Special Defense, Max Special Defense with Assault Vest, hitting 92.9 to 109. This is just a Heat Wave, by the way, so if you Max Flare this thing, it's super dead. 50% chance to Oko without maxing with the multi-targeting Heat Wave. Awesome stuff. Anyway, that is about it for the damage calc, so let's go ahead and move on to Single Spotlight real quick and then end the video. So, Single Spotlight, I think this Pokemon's pretty pretty good. You know, you have Taunt to uh, stop, like, set up Pokemon. You have Stealth Rock um, for trapping, not trapping, uh, you know, Stealth Rock for hazards. And then you have Magma Storm, which is just a stupid move. It has 75 accuracy, so I don't know if I'd always want to use that. Um, you might just want to go with something else, something more consistent. But it is a really good move. It traps them, which is cool. Then Earth Power. So you could also go Flash Cannon if you want to, like... It's a pretty customizable spread. Not a lot of choices to customize, but you can customize almost all of them. Just have a fire attack, please. Um, <laughs> yeah, and Stealth Rock's good uh, for uh, for singles. Anyway, uh, and then I added Special Attack Max and Timid Max Speed, just so that it can be as fast and damaging as possible. That's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Makes a huge difference. Follow me on Twitch, uh, you know, Twitter. Join the Discord. Support me on Patreon. Do all of those things. Watch me live on Twitch. I might be live right now. I probably, I probably am. Anyway, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.